welcome to a new weekly video. So I'm trying something new with the background. I filmed in a different place to see the difference because then I have the window right in front of me. Let me know if you, what you think about it. I am back with my little box. Um, I'm not too sure what they are doing at the moment with the titles. It was always my little something box and I know that the French box I am pretty sure is called my little Calvi box and Calvi is a town in Corsica and I'm thinking maybe they thought people in the UK would not know that, it would not make sense so they called it Summer Vibes. Last month I think it was called Dolce Vita, not my little Dolce Vita box. Uh, also we don't have a Kanako illustration on it, I am not too sure what the French one looks like but I will look it up and I might actually include a picture now so you can see. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so it's just a picture of a beach scene with saying summer vibes in it. So I'm expecting something really summery. Uh, I haven't looked at too many spoilers this month. Uh, so I don't really know what's going on because I've only seen a few French spoilers and I saw everything was about Calvi. So I thought, okay, well, we'll see. So when you open it, it's like this and there's an illustration they are back with the nice illustrations, so I'm happy because I have up there, you can't see, hold on, see there, ta-da, um, that's where I have like six frames and I switch around the, I need to get the focus again, I switch around the illustration depending on the season. This one is perfect for the summertime because the ones I have at the moment are not that summery. Um, it says, are you a summer girl? And there is a lot of different things on it with like tick boxes i actually really really like that um next we have the magazine <coughs> Ooh, just saw something really exciting which is called summer vibes the same way the thing is now these t-shirts are a lot on the things there's a part of me that hopes there's no t-shirt in that because they had done a t-shirt for i think it was my it was superhero like a supergirl or super box or something like that last year I think it was in February or March time last year anyway the t-shirt um, the one size fit all thing I don't believe in it I am a plus size I know also girls who are a lot smaller and it was massive on them one of me was too small so I don't find it really fair when you get an item of clothing they do ask for your size your shoe size your thing but every time so far it's been kind of um, one size fit all thing and I don't think it does fit all so, um, so what do we have in this book we have oh festival oh it might be like a festival kind of thing so different festivals in Europe <coughs> I apologize I have a very sore throat so oh two face products uh, it's like a glitter eyeliner kind of thing I wouldn't have much use for that but it could be handy oh this is my kind of thing the great unwashed hairstyles you can do with unwashed hair with it. see whenever I always have my plaits in my vlogs and people are always saying oh you spend so much time doing your hair no that means I haven't washed my hair and I haven't had the time to wash them if you watch the vlogs you know that now but now I know we're getting this it's like a kusmi tea and it's iced tea I don't really like iced tea but we'll see <coughs> um different ways to stand out at a festival a bit of fashion Related stuff, I'm, we're definitely getting that top. It seems they're in there again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're getting that. So a lot of promotional stuff that they had stopped in the last few months, and I was quite happy about, and they didn't. Uh, Alors on danse. How to look cooler when you're dancing? So it's very festival oriented. Summer horoscope. So all different things for summer. Uh, different apps that uh, they um, recommend. And a picnic playlist. I quite like that idea. The playlist. They had done that once. I think it was for something to do with a face mask or something like that. And I quite like that. Um, I don't know all the songs on that, but I would definitely check all these songs. So that's the content. There is more and more content in the magazine. I'm not very happy about the fact that there's so many ads, but I guess it's more to give you like a lookbook for summer. So that's all right. <coughs> so there we have. An iced tea, aquafiz, hibiscus, bay, et fruits rouge. Um, how to make one liter of perfect iced tea. So I love kusmiti. Oh, there we go. We have it there. 
uh, hibiscus, berries and red fruit. Um, so I guess it's one sachet to make one liter. And they recommend to use fizzy um, water in it. I am not a big fan of iced tea, so I might save that for a day where I have like people over for a barbecue or something to make that for those who would like it. And then we have, oh, oh we have a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that first. <clears throat> We're gonna do a test, okay? Because I bet you... One size! It's a weird shape, it's probably like, I don't know if it's a crop. I, I will probably fit into it. I'm gonna put it on and show you what it looks like on me, okay? So then you can tell me, well, I will get inside it, but, you know, it's not the most flattering thing then once I'm inside it. You know, it's very, very, it's very hard to show. So it's very, very tight, you know, and uh, very short. And, but I'm guessing for very slim people, like very petite persons, it would be massive. So I don't really like that kind of idea. Anyway, do you know what I'm going to do? If you like this top, so it says, it's white and says, girls just want to have sun. I am size 20 on top and so you've seen like it's quite tight on me. So I probably would fit, you know, you could, have, you could wear it quite wide as well. If you want this, please send me a comment because literally I don't know what to do with it. So I am happy to send it to anyone who would like it. So if you do you want it or if you know somebody who would want it, leave me a comment or drop me a message and I will send that to somebody because honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And I don't, I mean, if it makes somebody happy, I'd rather do that, so there we go. And then we have a bag like this. So let's see, Bikini Lifeguard Swimsuit Patch, my little box. So I'm guessing this is like a wet bag where you put your swimsuit. You need to have a tiny swimsuit <laughs> to fit it in there or squish it really. <coughs> I uh, don't do bikinis because I, I, I have a little bit hanging a little bit too much for my taste but uh, a one piece swimsuit I might be able to squeeze it in but when it's wet I'm not too sure but it did not say bikini so I will use that anyway though because wet bags are so handy to have for two things when you go to the beach for putting your phone and stuff to protect it or when you have children who might get very dirty and wet their clothes to have as a wet bag to bring back wet clothes so that will get some use not for a bikini but it will get some use anyway so i'm glad about that then <clears throat> oh sorry there is a massive daddy long leg that just <laughs> just walked past i didn't see it coming and it was very big it's away now anyway um okay glitter glue okay so it shows it there uh, with like glitter eyeshadow with and without so it's to avoid the um, fallout basically and I'm guessing you could use it to stick uh, eyeshadow uh, um, glitter yeah so basically it's glitter glue as it said um, I probably oh glitter shadow primer as well I probably would use it under glitter shadow. Actually, I'm wearing some at the moment, but it's not, it's only a tiny bit of glitter, so you can't really see it. Anyway, um, I wouldn't use that on a daily basis because I don't really use glittery shadows on a daily basis, but I would definitely use that like for Halloween and stuff like that, and it's a small size, so I will save that more for Halloween time. Then we have a Ciate Mini uh, nail polish. This is really my kind of colors for the summer. I love all the mint, aqua, turquoisey colors and all the corally ones. I don't have any uh, that uh, light so that's good. I will definitely be using that too. And the My Little Beauty product Beach Hair Sea Sun Hair. So it's a hairspray I'm getting. Oh it's a salt spray. Okay. Um, the secret to wavy surfer girl hair. A few casual spritzes of this salt spray hair all over tresses. On top of that, this spray even filters out na nasty UV rays. So, even if it doesn't do much for my hair, protecting my hair from the sun is a good thing. Now let's do the smell test, because you know for me. The oh, it smells like the holidays. Mm, it has like a coconut-y coconut kind of scent to it. Let's see if there's any more information now this all we have <laughs> um i will try that because do you know 
it's alright. I don't really have very clean hair right now, but let's try this. I hope I'm not gonna make my hair um, like me to do it. Because thing kind of It just messed my hair up, but I guess that's the point to have like a messy kind of look. Not that it was very well done anyway, but yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'll have to try and see. I'm not. I'm not really convinced right now. But if there is the UV protection alone, that's enough for me. So yeah. So a really, really summary box. What I feel though is that the magazine was all about like more festival oriented but i feel like the box itself is more beach oriented so but yeah it's very summary it's right for the season um as i said not really pleased about getting a one size top because yeah i don't think it's fair unless you are like a standard size i don't think it's fine and it doesn't you know i don't know anyway if you want the top message me and i will send it to somebody um Yes, so um, that's it for this week. I hope you had a lovely week. I do daily vlog every day at 5 p.m. And I also put a new video up every Thursday at 10 a.m. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It really, really helps me. Um, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.